Hi everybody, this is Con, another Genting Run video, this time taking the Kia Optima GT. That's right, you heard me right, the Kia Optima. Now, as recently as a decade ago, the Kia Optima is often regarded as something of, uh, of a poor man's D segment car, a boring car, not the kind of car that you would consider for a Genting Run. But this is different, okay? This new Optima GT has a 2 liter turbo engine making 242 horsepower. That's right, guys. 242 horsepower. Enough to play ball with an F30 straightaway now. So, let's see what it's made of. Switching the drive mode to sport. I'll just wait for the traffic to clear. Let's power my way through. Okay, the transmission is uh, is into is selecting the right gears intuitively enough that. I'm not seeming to need the pedal shifters and if you just heard that beep that was the G sensor of my dash cam so yes that's right this thing accelerates fast enough to trigger the G the emergency G sensor of my dash cam Cam again. Okay, unavoidably there's a bit of quite there's a bit of turbo lag. Okay. Listen to the sound of that engine. I mean <laughs> a Kia Optima sounding like this. have been making good cars for a good 15 20 years already despite the fact that you know they are they are not perceived at the same level as the Japanese they are they have been making good cars for a decade and a half to two decades okay but this Optima GT here is perhaps the most interesting one I've driven off the lot following a previous gen Korean car, the YF Sonata, which um, which in the wise words of my good friend Daniel Wong, it drives like a Camry, rides like an Accord. And you know, at that time, okay, during that time, that is hardly a compliment because well, the Accord and between the two, you know, the Camry, the Camry Accord Dynamic. We all know which one is regarded as the more enthusiast-driven car, and which is the more, you know, uncle car. And uh, well, it's pretty good, actually. This chassis is coping well with the power, but the steering, sometimes the steering kind of hinders progress because But, you know, earlier, 
No, the whole time I've been driving this car, the steering has not been has has always been the weakling of the car, but you know in this run it just seems to be you know coming together rather well. So I'm not sure what to make of it. But I can tell you something, I'm quite enjoying this. This is this is amazing. This is very very good. Let's be fair, Let, let's be frank about one thing. It's not going to outhandle the Ford Mondeo, the Volkswagen Passat, or the Mazda 6. But let me tell you something um, it will outrun all those cars on a straight line. And the handling deficiency. Well, it's not too bad. It really is not too bad. And the sound of that engine. I'm not sure if it's artificially generated, but damn, a Kia that sounds like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, the days boring Korean cars really well and truly is over it's absolutely over this car is brilliant it's it's very good it's it's thoroughly entertaining it's thoroughly entertaining I am properly properly blown away by this Very, very good effort here. Very, very good effort. Reach Gotong Jaya. Ah. Uh, well, stay tuned for the full review of this car. Until my next video, thanks for watching. Bye for now.